on average a certain laptop lasts six years, which means the mean or mu is equal to six years. The length of time the laptop computer lasts is exponentially distributed. To do any calculations with an exponential distribution, we need to know m, the decay parameter, which is one divided by mu. In our case, mu or the mean is six, and therefore the decay parameter is one-sixth. The probability density function is f of x equals m times e raised to the power of negative mx, which in our case, gives us f of x equals one-sixth times e raised to the power of negative one-sixth x. The cumulative distribution function gives the area to the left under the probability density function, and it is given by a big f of x equals one minus e raised to the power of negative mx, which in our case is one minus e raised to the power of negative one-sixth x. And now let's take a look at some questions. Number one, what is the probability that a computer lasts more than four years? Which is the probability that x is greater than four? Looking at the graph of the probability density function shown below, here's where x equals four. Because we want the probability x is greater than four, we want the area to the right of four under the curve, which is this area here. But the cumulative distribution function, big F of x, gives the area to the left, not the right, and therefore to find the area to the right of x equals four, we will first find the area under the entire curve, this area here, which we know is equal to one, and then subtract the area to the left of four, given by the cumulative distribution function, which would be this area here, leaving us with the desired area, which is the area to the right of four. So the probability that x is greater than four is equal to one, and then minus the area to the left of x equals four, which is equal to the quantity one minus e raised to the power of negative one-sixth times four. And now let's go to the calculator and get our decimal approximation. The four decimal places we have approximately 0 0.5134. which is a percent is 51.34%. Number two, what is the probability that a computer lasts less than three years, which is the probability that x is less than three? x equals three is here. We want the probability that x is less than three, which is equal to the area to the left of three under the probability density function, this area here. Because this area is to the left of three, we need to evaluate big F of x at x equals three to determine the probability x is less than three. This gives us one minus e raised to the power of negative one sixth times three. Going back to the calculator, to four decimal places we have approximately 0 0.3935. which is equal to 39.35%. For number three, we're asked to find the probability that a computer lasts between three and five years, which is the probability that x is greater than three and less than five. Let's go ahead and model this as area under the probability density function. Here's x equals three, here's x equals five, we want the area under the curve between three and five, this area here. To find this area, we will first find the area to the left of five, which gives us this area here, and then subtract the area to the left of three, which gives us this area here, leaving us with the desired area, the area between three and five. So again, so again, the probability is equal to the probability that x is less than five minus the probability that x is less than three. So the probability that x is less than five is equal to the quantity one minus e raised to the power of negative one sixth times five, and then minus the probability x is less than three, 
is equal to the quantity one minus e raised to the power of negative one six times three. And now we go back to the calculator. So four decimal places, we have approximately 0 0.1719. which is equal to 17.19%. For number four, on average, how long would two laptops last if they are used one after another? Well, going back to the given information, on average, a certain laptop lasts six years. So if on average, each laptop lasts six years, if two laptops are used one after the other, on average, two laptops will last two times six years or 12 years. Number five, we're asked to find the 80th percentile, which is the length of time a laptop will last that is greater than or equal to 80% of the other lasting times. We can indicate this as the probability that x is less than k is equal to 0 0.8 where k is the 80th percentile. To model this on the graph, if k is the 80th percentile, which let's say is approximately here, the area under the curve to the left would be 0 0.8, representing 80%. To find k, we'll use the shortcut formula shown here on the right, where k is equal to, in the numerator we have natural log of one minus the area to the left, which is 0 0.8, divided by the opposite of m, which is negative 1 sixth. Simplifying, we have k is equal to natural log of 0 0.2 divided by negative 1 sixth. Going to the calculator, Notice how I do have negative one six in parentheses. To four decimal places, we have approximately 9.6566. And this would be years. The 80th percentile is approximately 9.6566 years, which is the lasting time that is equal to or longer than 80% of the other computer lasting times. I hope you found this helpful.